Anyways, back to the story in hand when Mary and Joseph had reached homelands, Mary was worried, expecting it soon, the baby would come and be marooned. So quickly, as Peter attempted to find a place to go back to she had peace of mind. They travelled so far all day long way, they desperately need a place to stay. And so Joseph knocked on the first door. He found he found it open, a jar and a head flopped around the inky to listen while Joseph said. Do you have a room that's a nice comfy bed? I'm sorry, but no, you have to go. So Joseph and Mary walked down the street looking so tired they were dragging their feet. They stopped at the next inn and knocked on the door. Then Joseph repeated what he asked before. Do you have a room with a nice comfy bed? I'm sorry, with nothing, not one single one. Certainly not until some guests have gone. Without hesitation, he pointed away and left them to find somewhere else they could stay. So off went for Mary and drove to the game and knocked on another door down the lane. The innkeeper heard them and came to the door and Joseph repeated what he'd asked before. Do you have a room with a nice comfy bed? I'm ever so sorry, we have no rooms in which you could stay. Please, sir, we have to have somewhere to stay. Anywhere we really don't mind, there has to be somewhere something you can find. I suppose you could sleep in the cattle shed. Thank, Thank you for being so, so kind. kind. So, so Mary and Joseph walked over that way and finally set to rest in the hay just in time for our next one. Amazing thing happened just as you was born. So, so she held him in closely and the manger's bed were all of the animals and fed.